Hello, Red Raiders. Welcome to Seeing Scarlet. Um, we got a a really exciting topic to talk about today, mostly because it's soccer, and yeah. <laughs> that's always going to be really exciting for me. Um, but this is also a story that is from uh, April, but it's so fitting, and I hope we continue with soccer content this summer because, you oh. know... The World Cup is this summer. Um, the U.S. Women's National Team just dropped their roster. So we know who's going to be representing the red, white, and blue over mm-hmm. in New Zealand and Australia for the World Cup. And you might be asking, Unfortunately, what? no Red Raiders. Oh, right. correct. Yet. Yet is exactly a perfect segue into what we're talking about. Uh, and that's about Kylie Barr. Um, Kylie is a sophomore. She is a uh, part of the Texas Tech soccer team. She wears number 18 for the Scarlet and Black. And we're going to talk a lot about Kylie and why Why am I talking about the World Cup? Why am I talking about her specifically? But before we get there, uh, this is a, a defender. She, Kylie is an amazing, amazing soccer player, y'all. Like, uh, I was watching interviews of Tom Stone when he first recruited her, and he just talked about how athletic she is, her speed, and watching a lot of her clips. That is so, so clear. Um, but she is a rising talent that's just going to continue to um, benefit our team. And again, she's just a sophomore from Colorado, um, had a very successful time in her high school career with soccer, uh, but also similar to the last uh, the last thing that we talked about, um, I don't which recruit was it that ran track or like had state titles with track and field? I, the number, the list of that could be forever, I right? We like, just <laughs> talked about the one for women's basketball in an earlier episode this year. So. And, Avery and Jones' dad. It's so cool. Yes, yes, good job. Um, and so it's cool to see like these athletes that have been successful in multiple sports and just how it all kind of helps them. Um, but Kylie was track and field, uh, a two-time all-state track runner um, in Colorado, five A all-state first team. Like she's just balling she's out um, on and off the pitch, you know. And on and off. <laughs> And so when she was in Colorado uh, growing up, she played for Real Colorado. uh, And on that team, she helped them lead to a conference championship. So, like, the gal knows how to win. And she's so, so good. She's really fast, but she can also strike the ball from distance uh, and get it to the back of the net. Like, she's just a threat all around. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember one Janine Becky being from Colorado. Huh. What's going on uh, in Colorado with soccer? I know it's a very big state for soccer, so that tracks, but... <laughs> yeah, it's really cool vibes. to... Yeah, it's interesting to see, like, with the women's national team this year, their roster, like, it's, I don't remember how many athletes are from... Like, they went to Stanford, so it's mm-hmm. like, where... What state does produce the best footballers, you know? And Colorado might be getting there. They, um, yeah, I don't, I yeah. don't know what that's about, but I, always, I know that there was, there was a big recruiting event in Colorado this past weekend. And it might be, you know, like the Olympics, like headquartered there, aren't oh, they, are or they? something like that? that yeah, yeah, it's kind of like how in softball the World yeah. Series are in Oklahoma City, and those two yeah. schools are stupid. I okay. think it's all of the Olympic sports. I like, I know rugby. That was always something that stuck out to me. I with, know like, a lot USA of them rugby. Are. I don't think they. I know that s- soccer might be here. What? What are we learning and ex- exploring? Um, because <laughs> I don't know for sure, but they're they're the women's national team has played here in Cary, North Carolina before mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. i know the the baseball training complex is in Cary, north carolina i don't know if soccer is i just i just remember while we're sitting here talking about it that the women's national team has played in Cary, north carolina because there's a nice field mm-hmm. here and yeah. i think there's a nwsl team or like a semi-pro team here as well mm-hmm. north carolina down. courage yeah they're right yeah. down the road for me i've been to a few of the games oh, but that's so sick yeah oh my gosh yeah casual toss that hair um that's amazing anyway that was a sidebar (laughs) that those are my notes i see just popping in remembering that that that's a good state for us we get a lot of players from there and stone Mm -hmm. has his connections there and i love when we have defenders and it's talking about going to the world cup roster someday again very unofficial soccer non-expert here but it seems like some of the better world cup incumbents right now are older at that position so yep. they're they're needing some youth to come yep. through the ranks and on the yep. defender side so yeah i Ayo. think we've we've seen that with this last iteration of the the roster but yeah you're you're totally right and we could see 
somebody that I'm talking about on that roster one day. So well, let's talk about that more. Um, so <laughs> Kylie comes from like an at a family full of athletes. It's just been who it seems like her family is and how they operate in, uh, in some capacity, um, which led her to Texas Tech. So 2022, her freshman season um, was a big 12 on the big 12 all freshman team. So Cow. having a really impressive show out and get this. One of eight Red Raiders. Okay. Uh, she's been one of the eight Red Raiders and the only freshman to start in every single match, all 19 matches for Casual. Texas Tech soccer. Um, I feel so, like, again, as a defender, that's a lot of pressure on a freshman. Again, I could be not mm-hmm. a soccer expert. I just watched the game. But it seems like there's more pressure as a defender to learn that than, hey, I need to go score the ball. Not mm-hmm. saying it's not difficult to be a great like striker or forward. Yeah. But to be adept on the defensive end at a fr- as a freshman just seems tactically more difficult. And so that's totally. impressive to me as a casual yeah. observer. Oh, you're totally right. And, like, she's good at both. Like, sh- uh, and her defense is definitely where she shines. And she's, like, usually a little bit taller and so – I don't even want to say graceful because I, don't, I think that's selling it short. But it's so smooth when she's playing defense, which you have to be, you know, uh, I think in some – in some cases it's so important for that defender to be real calm cool collected like becky sauerbrunn with the women's national team that is absolutely her style of play so kylie i I see that she has like a a really good understanding of the game and then when she's on offense she's creating opportunities for her strikers or like she's she's the one that's sending it a a shot on goal (laughs) yeah so uh it seems wherever she is she's going to succeed um and it's very clear that the the team has uh benefited from her especially showing that she's starting in every match like they know um so she had a really really great freshman season and with texas tech uh which led her to earn um, an invite to the U18, U19 Women's Youth National Team training camp. And for those who don't know, <laughs> this camp and getting invited to it is such a huge deal. Like, invites are going to players all among the country. Um, this is a team that helps benefit players in a way of, like, preparing them for a next level of play, whatever that might might be. It might be the NWSL. It might be the Women's National Team for the World Cup, Olympics, you name it. Um, so our girl representing the red and black, oh, Texas Tech, she uh, was invited to that camp. Um, like I said, she's playing against, uh, players that are already in the NWSL, um, like the Washington Spirit. I think there was a a player from their roster on the team, Louisville Racing, uh, which we have a a Red Raider on that team. Um, she wasn't at the camp, but she was there. Too old for that. Yeah. Yeah. Too old. She's, she's past that you, you know? Um, I was just laughing because your note says this was in North Carolina. So we were right. The camp mm-hmm. is here in Cary, North yeah. Carolina. So there we go. Yeah. The camp is there. Um, it was in North Carolina and that took place in like early April. And they, the, a number of people that get invited to that are only 46 people. So think about all of the, the college programs, the, yeah. or any soccer programs that are out there. Um, 46 what is U19, U18, like how young are they going? What's, is it U16, the next team? So is it like 17? U17. 18? Yeah. Um, so it's really just college freshmen, sophomores then. Yeah, okay. pretty much. Um, so, uh, yeah, it really is impressive to even get selected at all. Um, huge accomplishment. Yeah. That's why it's like, so this is a huge deal <laughs> that yeah, we have a, a Texas tech red Don't Raider. Sleep on her. Don't sleep on her, um, because it, it means so much more than like just her time at Texas Tech. Like, obviously, that's such a huge component and where she is in the stage of life. Um, but I like I'm going to rattle off some names here that, you know, are may or may not be a big deal that have gone through these camps. Crystal Dunn, like the speed that she has, very similar to Kylie. Like they're so fast. Crystal Dunn, she's can't going to the co- World Cup this can't summer. Can't teach speed. Can't teach speed. She's got that speed. Uh, we have Sofia Huerta. She was also on a U20 team in 2012. Um, she hands out assists like candy. She's good. She's on the roster. Like the the players that have been so huge and that are, are playing on a World Cup roster have gone through what Kylie has gone through. Um, so at the end of the training camp, the head coach, his name is Coach Tracy Kevins, uh, chooses 23 players to make up that team. 
Unfortunately, Kylie didn't get onto that roster. Uh, but again, this is such a huge deal for her to be invited and to go experience that and play alongside these professional players and just getting that experience. It's going to help her so much as her individually, but also bringing that knowledge back to Texas Tech and to use it <laughs> in yeah. Big 12 play. Uh, I think it's just a really a, an early sign of what's potentially to come for her. Um, and... You know, you go through these things to get to that roster and, and make it to the big stage um, where the whole world is watching. So, yeah, I know I talk about national championships all the time. Uh -huh. I, I know our Red Raiders are going to get them all the time. I'm, na I'm now I'm going to have to start thinking about like, OK, when Kylie gets to this to this level, gold medals. we're going to need gold medals. We're going to need World Cup trophies. You know, yeah, time time is uh all the times for for that to happen um i love that and yeah. just because she didn't make it this year doesn't mean she won't get in and she would probably be too old for the u19 team next year but whatever the next one is you yeah, can tell U20. us that mm -hmm. u20 she could get an invite next year and and hopefully she showed out enough to get that invite and then she makes the team next year for that one or however it works but she yeah like you said even just to be invited that means you're one of the top 46 sophomores freshmen in the country mm -hmm. for the people that are not soccer enthusiasts just put it that way she is one of the top 46 sophomores or freshmen college players in the entire country and she plays mm -hmm. for your texas tech red raiders i know and Go even watch like the gal play <laughs> along with her exceptional teammates who oh, could be so going good. to these camps as well yeah yeah um and like of that pool even like dissecting it more to like defenders right so like she's yeah. one of the better defenders yeah. of the country um which and is you, so so cool you tag team her with who we talked about last week and they're mad oh man maddie, man, our maddie white be this year. <laughs> good luck scoring are we on gonna us allow any, any goals <laughs> like we're gonna like good break luck. the record for for goals allowed in the season and just drop a zero like that I, would be historic on i know i mean we could Why see not? maddie white like coming up too like if you um, don't allow a goal all year you win a natty mm -hmm. that I, is a yeah scientifically it seems like a statistically <laughs> impossible thing to not be true exact formula um but yeah so the, expert, that <laughs> That was uh, really, really exciting news. Um, it all really took place all in April, May. Even the um, the team that was selected when they went and competed, they've already done that and all that good stuff. So yeah. I'm sure Kylie's now refocusing on... Um, relaxing and... Yeah, I'm Texas sure Tech more. And so they should get my... When I work, I worked for the team as an athletic trainer mm -hmm. way back, y'all, old, uh, and they started, I vividly remember two a day starting in August, so, because I was there Oof, for August, all right. so I assume it's still similar, <laughs> and I know old Tom Stone likes to do two a days where they play, we did 6 a.m. and 6 p.m., so That's you stay brutal. out of the heat. <laughs> it was brutal. Oh, the heat, yeah. Yeah. How nice. <laughs> yeah, it was, it, was, it was fun, and so, yeah, um, they, yep. they, they work for this, and they'll be putting in a lot of work coming up soon, too. Definitely, their games start September. Yeah, they September. might even... I, do they start in August? I I'm, wanted to say... I, we looked it up when we were talking about the, the soccer... The goalies, and I believe... Mm -hmm. Or goalkeepers, as we learned. Goalkeepers, yeah. Um, that <laughs> oh, they, September, September, yeah. yeah September 14th. There you go. Um, which is wild, too, because they, uh, they start Big 12 play on September 14th against Houston. And unless they like throw in some friendlies or something, but I'm looking at their Is, schedule right now. Oh, maybe they haven't announced the full schedule then, because that's weird. Yeah. They wouldn't have any preseason. Games. I think so too. Yeah. So, so maybe they'll start some preseason because I know we didn't when I was there. They didn't just jump into. Big I that's weird. think that's a little odd too. So maybe they're still figuring some stuff out. Um, yeah. But yeah, their first, I guess, Big Twelve uh, matchup against Houston happens on September 14th. Yeah. So. Who knows? Let's we'll see, it. yeah, some hopefully some play before them. I don't know, as big as the Big 12 is now, maybe they couldn't, maybe they can't have, maybe they're going to have some, well, probably, I bet they'll throw in some preseason match, but they they got to play a lot more conference games now than mm -hmm. they did before to fit everybody in. I think they play everybody once or something, so yeah, that's yep, cool. Yep. Go, go watch the games if you have never been out there. It's a great facility. It's one of the better ones really in the Big 12. It's beautiful. It's a great place to watch a game. It's a fun time. The games are really entertaining. And it sounds like we have some really good players. We talked we talked about defenders the last two episodes. Sibby mm -hmm. is gonna I I can't I, I'm putting it on her, but she's about to break down some good 
players oh, yeah. on the other positions of the team. Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, I don't yeah. know There's... who she's coming out with here, but <laughs> the talent. She'll, she'll just... give you the offensive players coming up in future episodes. But you've gotten a, a goalie. You've gotten a defender who also probably pushes up there to score when they need her to. Mm-hmm. Um, this team's fun. I can't wait. I'm excited, man. I know. I'm really excited yeah. to watch soccer this year. Definitely some heavy hitters on the defense side of things, but also we're not allowed wise, gold. Yeah. Heard it here first. It's so good. It's going with gold. But yeah, shout out to Kylie Barr. That is really, really impressive uh, and definitely an achievement for, for herself in Texas Tech. Come on the that's pod, a, Kylie. Let's a get big it deal. Done. Yeah, do it, please. But yeah. yeah did, you want to you let people know who is coming on the pod sometime that we talked hey, to? Hey, we've been talking to Madison White. If y'all have not gone to listen to and watched our uh our episode about goalkeepers y'all stud maddie white is her that's that's all yeah. i gotta say that's, go listen to that episode that summary um, of the episode yeah. but if you want to hear the stats we got yeah. a good one and it's goal. really good and she is gonna come on the pod sometime i can't wait she's i don't i don't know how i'm gonna chilling. like relax because i'm Maybe gonna be so hyped. three weeks that'll be dropping on youtube when we get her on the pod right before they're probably right before they get together for training camp yeah so that's it I'm and excited. then yeah watch the world cup too so yeah when's that yeah. starting let people know uh i believe they start in july u.s is predicted to win they have Obviously. won the most number of world cups for y'all who don't know which is four so seeking a fifth one it's a lot of pressure <laughs> they carry because they yeah, are no, always no biggie. favored it's the opposite of the men's team i like watching the men in the world mm-hmm. cup because it's like the underdog perspective on the women's side it's if they lose, it's like, yeah, c- catastrophe happened. Well, I mean, if you get to the gold medal match, maybe I know. Not, but, like you lose before then, it's like, oh my gosh, what happened? So mm-hmm, it's fun mm-hmm. to watch. But yeah, they'll be fun. Fortunately, no Texas Tech players on those teams yet, nor are there on any teams because, as we talked about, Janine Becky is out injured. Otherwise, she'd be on the Canadian team. But we're she gonna would. have some in the future. Maybe old Kylie Barr will be there, and yeah. three, four years, add in some others down the line. We'll check back Let's in. Make it happen. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations, Kylie, and wreck them. Wreck them. See you tomorrow. Bye.